I trust you, though. I'm not stupid. You might be one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Trying to catch me out. I won't tell you nothing. Why would I be trying to catch you out? For Christ's sake, man. They crucified Limpy Lubosh and Ujit. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. What will I do? Shit. I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of horse shit. Hinek told me you were there and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only, I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. Try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with uh, trees and stuff. There were some wrecked houses there and all. In the woods. A, a church. There was a church there. Kind of a broken one, though. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Talmberg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there round some barns, I think. It leads to the woodcutter's camp. If you go further on past the woodcutters, you come across this abandoned house. Can't miss it. Looks like a house, only abandoned. Go to the left there and carry on till you come to this clearing with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? Uh, you go left there again. There's this narrow path and you go straight along there. Sometimes it splits up. You just keep to the left until you come to a crossroads by this big flat rock. You keep straight on there. After a while you'll see a bridge. And it's right there. Easy as you please. Better than nothing, I suppose. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? You promised. Oh no, bugger. I meant to make you promise, but I forgot. No, don't worry. But in future, find some other way to make money. Like honest work? Thanks. I'll, I'll try. On account of my sister, at least. That girl at the windmill? Hi, Mirka. Did you talk to her? What did she say? She told me you're as thick as a fence post and always getting dragged into some mischief. Did she? Yeah, she's probably right. Look at you, lover boy. What now? Should we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? Well, let me think. And where would you care to go? What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Let's go. That was a good idea to go for a walk. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it, so I'm glad you took me out. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> it's disgusting. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession. And you have too, so don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what. Let's not dawdle. Look out.
was fun. Sit down here next to me, Hal. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Uh, I don't know. I suppose it's a job like any other. I don't believe a word of it. If you ask me, you're loving every minute and you don't want to make me envious. Now then. Oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads? <laughs> Not really. I'm spending my time hunting brigands and cumans around the woods, not chasing after wenches. Just look after yourself, that's all. I dread to think of anything happening to you. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? I don't want to give anyone an excuse to gossip. Maybe another time. Yeah! Greetings. What business have you? About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Townburg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much, apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. The more we know, the better. It would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. Yeah. Yeah! 